Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. US President Donald Trump and the First Lady are slated to visit India for two days on the 24th of February. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has tweeted about the visit, welcoming the US President. What is on the agenda and how is India preparing for what seems to be a grand visit? Find out in Government Matters, where I have Noinima Basu in the studio with me. Noinima, what is happening? It's, I mean, you know, this has been, uh, there's been a lot of speculation for a long time about when the President of the United States would visit. But now there is confirmation on the dates. But what is, how is India preparing for this grand visit? So, Ruhi, there are uh, quite many stories coming out on the fact that news reports that are coming out. But then this is confirmed that uh, U.S. President Donald Trump is finally coming on 24th and 25th. Um, it's a little weird that, you know, after waiting for so long, India has been waiting to receive him in India for uh, almost more than one year now. Uh, remember, he was initially supposed to come as a chief guest of Republic in 2019. But that did not happen. And there was this China deal on which U.S. was focused on. And there were other issues with Iran tensions and all. Um, so yes, he's finally coming, but he's coming only for two days. Mm -hmm. And it seems, uh, as per the news report, because there's no official itinerary that has been released yet, he might be coming to Ahmedabad first, where you know he will be having a Howdy Modi Redux kind of a thing, um, which is called Came Cho Trump or something like that. And then the main bilateral and delegation level talks will happen on the next day in Delhi. Right. So Ahmedabad and Delhi are the only two places they are slated to visit. Yeah, it seems so. Right. Now, um, uh, Noinima, this comes at a time when India and the US have been trying to iron out differences or trade differences. There has been friction on that front. Uh, I mean, there was a limited trade deal that was mm -hmm. that you mentioned had been agreed upon. But what can we expect on that front? So um, there is this different kind of, you know, discussions going on um, as far as the trade deal is concerned. It has several layers to it, be it agriculture, be it on medical devices, then the IT products, mobile phones and many other things. And then there is this larger issue of friction, which is on the data regulation. Now, well, keeping that aside, as far as the limited trade deal is concerned, uh, there has been some progress on medical devices and other other things, uh, especially on on the fact that you know how some of the IT products uh, you know will be handled, the imports of of the IT products from from America. But then there are still certain glitch glitches. You never know how that will be sort of sorted out. Um, there is this thing that the trade deal is almost ready. Uh, India, you know, some of my sources tell me that, yes, it is ready from India's point of view. U.S. wants something else. Um, U.S. is happy with a limited trade deal now. And going forward, there will be a larger free trade agreement. So uh, I do not know. I mean, yes. I mean, there was this. Uh, there's a. There's this uh, address by President Trump that you know the, in the video that that you know we might have all seen, where he's saying that he's not really committing himself on the trade deal. He's saying we'll see to it if it's a right deal. Now, according to President Trump, what is the right deal is uh, you know is right. something that needs to be seen when he comes. But uh, the president has spoken about his visit to India. What has he said? So he's, he's spoken about the fact that, yes, he's very excited to and he's looking forward to his uh, visit to uh, India. But then he's also sort of, you know, expressed concerns and the fact that uh, I think he said that he, he had a telephonic conversation with uh, Prime Minister Modi, where Prime Minister Modi told him that there'll be lakhs of people welcoming him. Uh, President Trump says that he's he was given a number of five to seven million. And he said that, well, uh, who will be there to welcome him from the airport to the stadium uh, in Ahmedabad? And he said saying that, you know, he's not really feeling comfortable with it. But then he says that Prime Minister Modi is a great gentleman and, and he looks forward to the to meeting him. And the Prime Minister uh, of India has also tweeted about the visit. Yes. Uh, can you just tell us what he said? So he's also, you know, sort of welcoming him and saying that, you know, he's looking forward to this great visit. And he's been wanting this visit to go through for a very long time. Uh, although there was this expectation that maybe he'll be coming for, you know, at least for five days or a week. A week will be too much in a U.S. president's itinerary, but probably three, four days. But this is just like two days within which he does everything and he sort of leaves. But um, yes, I mean, that's what uh, Prime Minister Modi is very excited about, that he's finally coming to India, which also sort of solidifies the bonding that they had created, right. which we all saw in September last year when the Howdy Modi and other things had right. happened. And I know also, you know, the U.S. presidential elections are due. Now, we saw Prime Minister Narendra Modi 
actually endorse uh, uh, Donald Trump when he went to that Howdy Modi event. So are we going to see something around that as well? Well, I'm sure because um, that was the time, if you remember, Prime Minister Modi said, Ab ki baar, Trump sarkar. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and this is going to be as much a mega event if you go by the news reports as it the was Kame in Trump event. Kame Cho Trump event. Yes, and they are building this massive stadium for that. Um, and, and there are people registered for the event, which is more than the seating capacity in the stadium. So, yes, this will be definitely a point where, you know, an, an opportune moment, at least for President Trump to talk about you know whatever good he has done for America and it will resonate well with the Indian American community there right. who form a large group of voting uh, you know population there so yeah definitely that will be the key so what is happening on the defense front as far as India and US are concerned this is known to be uh, President Trump's pet theme pet project uh, that's true, Ruhi. Uh, defense is something that is very close to his heart. I mean, as far as defense deals are concerned, because, you know, he believes in transactions. So even if the trade deal uh, is not going through, we just saw that, you know, two days back, uh, there was uh, the, the U.S. government has approved a two billion dollars, almost a two billion dollar defense deal on, on integrated missile system, which is huge, which really adds on to the growing defense ties. And also, let's remember that U.S. continues continues to recognize India as a major defense partner. Mm -hmm. so, and this deal already adds on to a, a humongous trade export that, I mean, the export that's happening on defense, uh, on defense trade. Right. So yes, so I mean, if, if there is no trade deal, even if there is no trade deal on the table, uh, for President Trump to showcase that as his big achievement, uh, you know, can be, the, can be the big highlight of the visit. Right. Now, also, uh, the President of the United States will visit India at a time when it's been over six months since Article 370 was scrapped and Kashmir continues to remain uh, under lockdown. In fact, top political leaders are not just detained at this point, but people like Omar Abdullah and Mehbooba Mufti also have had PSA slapped against them. How big a factor will Kashmir be? How much part of the discourse, conversation, bilateral talks will that take up? So, um, in the bilateral talks, I do not think President Trump will, you know, crop this issue up uh, suddenly, but, and maybe not in this small visit that he is doing, but maybe at the delega delegation level, because we've seen how the State Department has been, has been issuing statements, uh, expressing concerns on the communication restriction there and detention of local, uh, you know, uh, big political leaders there. And we also saw that, you know, when the US ambassador to India, he visited, he was part of the first trip of the envoys who visited uh, Jammu and Kashmir. So, the moment he, he landed back in Delhi, there was a statement from State Department expressing concerns that, you know, what is it that, that the Indian government is planning to do? And there is also one proposal lying in the U.S. Congress on this, you know, discussions and resolution on the fact that uh, what is India doing and what is the roadmap that the Modi government has in Kashmir. So, so yes, that remains one of the sticky points. Maybe it comes up at the delegation level talks. Now, whether Prime, uh, President uh, Trump takes it at the bilateral level, that nobody knows. But let's also remember that he's been constantly talking about mediation. And he says that whenever he's with the Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan, and he says that, you know, I will be glad to mediate if both sides agree. So maybe, you know, for... for so do you think he will reiterate his offer to mediate when he's in India? Do you think that's... Well, possible? that was discussed when Prime Minister Modi was there in, in, in New York and, and, and uh, these two le leaders met there in September. For all you know, uh, this is President Trump. So, you know, as a, as a passing remark or, or maybe as a very serious, uh, you know, thoughtful, this thing, he might say that I'm ready to mediate if, you know, what is India? opinion but then he's very clear what is India's stand on that and and you know that has something India has reiterated again and again that it is not open to mediation it's a bilateral matter so uh, but then as I said this is President Trump you never know he might crop that issue again yeah you never know he might tweet it out also you, you, you yes. never know what he's so doing. so yes uh, that is something talking about tweets I saw an interesting tweet from the MEA Twitter handle if I'm not wrong which is you know sort of crowdsourcing 
ideas to welcome the US president. What is that all no, about? No, so that's very interesting. That's from the Indian uh, diplomacy handle right. that the that the MEA certainly runs. So they, it's basically calling uh, common people to say that, you know, uh, now that President Trump is coming, if you want to welcome in your own style, you can, you know, shoot a video and upload it. And, you know, that'll be a quirky way of, you know, showing the excitement that is there within the common man with, I don't know how much excited common man right. is right now. About the US <laughs> <laughs> exactly. When there are so many domestic issues they have to handle. But but I guess, uh, you know, there's this kind of competition or contest they are running that, you know, upload your video and and it will be played during the visit, maybe. Yeah, so, well, a fun, quirky angle to the visit, I suppose, Noinima. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Thank you for watching Government Matters.